Hey, welcome to Flip TV News. My name is Victor Ajayi. First, the airlines. Federal government labor agree on how to crash transport fares, food prices. Minimum wage. Lagos will pay workers 85,000 naira. Say some Now the news in full. The federal government and organized labor yesterday agreed on modalities to crash transport fares and prices of essential commodities, especially food stock. This came on a day the House of Representatives asked the federal government to reverse the recent petrol hike and take immediate steps to stabilize petrol and cooking gas prices through targeted interventions such as temporary price relief measures, tax reductions or subsidies on LPG for low-income households. The government also agreed on someone to summon a meeting with state governments to secure the 70,000 minimum wage fully commenced nationwide in October. Sources at the meeting said that, among others, government and labor also agreed to continue engagement and discussions on tough, frosty relationships that had existed before now. Government promised to release over 2,000 compressed natural gas CNG conversion kits in the first instance. It also promised to release 45 CNG buses to labor to complete the 90 earlier promised organized labor. As part of efforts at crashing transport fares across the country, the federal government will hold a meeting with the state governments, governors to fully, to fully embrace the CNG buses. This will also affect the cost of foodstuffs as it will reduce the cost of transporting food items from different locations to consumers drastically. These are parts of efforts to caution the effects of the cost subsidy removal on the citizens. The government also promised to summon a meeting of the Economic Council to impress it upon the state governors to ensure the new minimum wage takes off across the country in this month. It also promised to incorporate labor into the Economic Council so labor will participate and monitor economic policies of government instead of government throwing policies at labor and endurance that may result in agitation or protest. The government also promised to hasten and complete the refineries. They said almost five refineries are about to be completed. Government promised to pay all outstanding arrears and wage awards to workers and inaugurate all the board's labor as representatives. One of the sources said, all these are promises, but the good thing is that it was agreed that the meeting will be a continuous process. Another source also said, the issue of government not honoring agreement was raised, adding that government admitted that it did not do well in that regard and promised to change. Asked if labor was satisfied with the meeting, the source said, it is not about satisfaction but a way forward from the past, where government was not discussing with organized labor. If this trend or practice continues, there is every possibility that disagreement between government and labor will reduce. The Joint National Executive Council NEC meeting between the two labor countries NLC and TUC is said was to brief members about the outcome of the meeting with government. Minimum wage. Lagos will pay workers 85,000 RTS on Governor Babajide Sonwulu of Lagos State on Wednesday disclosed plans to pay workers a minimum wage of 85,000 Naira. Sonwulu disclosed this during an interview on Channel Television teamed one-on-one -on -one with Babajide Sonwulu. You mentioned minimum wage and what I need to throw in for my people. I am glad to let you know that the minimum wage for Lagos, which we have discussed with our union, is 85,000 today, 85,000 Naira today. It is not a competition, so I am not going to say that we are paying more than some other people it is a function of affordability and a function of capacity the governor said this came when the federal government had agreed to pay seventy thousand naira as the new minimum wage for workers i will be heard on our news update from more stories on our channels flip tv flip tv plus my name is victor ajayi